All right, guys. Um, for this now, so I'm going to be changing the way that the content works on the channel. It's a pretty major change for me. I'm going to start playing a much wider variety of games and uh, really digging for the obscure and uh, delving really into indie games. Uh, I've been debating this for a long time, and I was kind of unsure what I want to do with my content. And this is uh, this is a huge risk uh, to do. I will more than likely make a lot less money doing this. I will more than likely see a lot less growth. But I don't want to look back on my career and say, look at all the money I made. I want to look back on my career and know that I did something unique and that I continued to push myself to enrich my content and enrich myself. So I'm pretty much throwing everything uh, as far as my expectations for games out the window. I really want to experience more things and share more things on the channel. It takes a lot of balls to make a game that you know not everybody's going to like, and I really want to play some of those games and uh, show them on the channel to support people that, that have dreams of doing something that they want. I once again have no doubt that uh, in some ways it will be a negative as far as making money and having rapid growth and things of that nature, but I don't want to... Uh, I've always tried to be unique. I've always had it uh, railed into my brain that to uh, look for look for another way, try something else, differentiate yourself from other people. And this is really the direction I've always wanted to take with my content, but I've always had a nagging self-doubt that I could do it. Uh, and just recently, I have felt the confidence that I can move forward and really do something cool and unique and show off a lot of really cool games. I'm sure we'll play some bad games too, but that doesn't mean we can't have a good time. So that's it. It's going to be a variety channel. I'm going to play a lot of stuff. Doesn't mean there's not going to be staples like FTL. Uh, doesn't mean I won't play AAA games, but I really want to reserve the AAA games for games that have proven they can stand the test of time, not playing a game on release because you think it's going to be cool. It doesn't mean only obscure games too, but I'm really going to dig deep and try to play a massive variety of games from this point forward. So thank you everybody for your support and continued support. I'm incredibly excited to make this change to the content and I cannot wait to see uh, uh, where it takes us. Thanks a lot. Brag out.